In 1991, a new boat company was formed with a focus on design and quality construction. And now, some 17 years later, Crown Line is one of the largest producers of stern drive powered boats, so there's plenty to choose from in the used boat market. This week on Fooditis, we'll take a look at a 2004 Crown Line 210 Bowrider. All Crown Lines over the past several years are well designed and attractive with excellent attention to detail. In 2004, Crown Line launched the 210 as an upgraded 208 from earlier years with subtle changes. The most notable of these changes was the striking three-piece curved windshield that flows nicely into the lines of the boat. The blue gel on the hull sides also strikes the right balance with the boat and shows no flaws in the layout. The 210 was available in two cockpit layouts and our used demo had the more common twin helm seats and aft bench ahead of the engine with a sun pad as the compartment hatch. What sets this bow rider apart from many others is Crown Line's selection of hardware and the overall fit and finish of the boat. It was still looking new after four years of use. The attention to detail starts back aft on the swim platform with large stainless recessed cleats and a protective hatch over the four, not three rung swim ladder. While well, having removable cushions in the transom seat base that reveals storage in a removable cooler is nothing special, having them hinged is. Another thoughtful touch from Crown Line is that after the sun pad is raised to access the engine, the complete transom seat assembly folds forward, improving service access. Helm seating is, as mentioned, twin buckets with flip-up bolsters and smoother than average swiveling and tracking mechanisms. The stylish wood accented wheel tilts, so the driver has an excellent view of the helm. While not radically different in design, the Crown Line's helm does employ top quality stainless bezeled Faria gauges and attractive faux wood accents. Checking beneath the fiberglass surface of a boat can reveal quite a bit about the builder. And checking out the fiberglass molded and draining in deck gear and ski locker with gas strut support highlights where Crown Line sits on the quality scale. Just as in the main cockpit, the 210 bow section doesn't break any new ground. The usual storage areas under the seating will be appreciated, including a wet locker, and the bow provides adequate seating. The one good feature up here that you will notice, however, when shopping for a used boat is the above average size draining anchor locker. Crown Line did an excellent job of designing the cockpit for both the driver and passengers, but serious engineering went into the hull as well. So let's head out and check out its ride and handling. I won't review the construction details on how Crown Line lays up the hull and marries the cockpit liner and deck to it. Needless to say, the hull is strong, solid, and silent. The hull is Crown Line's fast tab ventilated hull design that incorporates reverse chines and a delta pad. So what does all of this translate into? In short, a boat that performs well without having to buy a lot of horses. The Mercruiser 5.0 MPI coupled with an Alpha Drive had the 210 on plane in 3.8 seconds into 30 in just over 7 seconds with 260 horsepower on tap. Top speed runs with a light load average 46 miles per hour at 5200 RPM. Since the 5 liter Merc shouldn't exceed 5000 RPM, a prop change would be required if purchasing this boat. As to be expected, the Crown Line's hull was extremely responsive in the turns. Turning the wheel just slightly garnered an instant response. Test day was one of those great late fall days with just a light chop on the lake that the Crown Line was more than capable of handling, making me quite disappointed when the on-water testing was over. The used boat market is flooded with plenty of bow riders, but I think the Crown Line 210 ranks at the top of the standings and is well worth a look if you're shopping for a recent model year boat.